Okay, this is a video about video recording software, and a lot of people out there are frustrated with fraps. So I uh, went in there and decided to do some research and found several different programs and came upon Bandicam, which uh, is free, but you have to pay for it without a, a, a watermark being on your video. You have to pay the $39. But let's talk a little bit about the features of it. First thing, when Vandy Ken fires up and everything, it'll ask you for your target. You notice here I have my standard screen size, which is full screen. But if you click here, you'll be able to say rectangle on a screen, okay, which includes full screen, or direct X, which you're going to use for recording games. This option down here, you're going to use for recording Windows 8 activity, including Windows 8 applications. And we'll get to that in the next video. Uh, the, the, if you look over here, here's Bandicam's bar that's recording. If you click here at the resolution, you'll see a whole bunch of different resolution or different screen sizes and custom and fit 4x3 and 16.9. And you also see the Find Window, uh, which you can actually lock it onto an application. Now, for you people that are recording Flash games, which is one of the questions I had, you're going to be able to actually drag your custom size and make it your custom size. And again, we're going to cover that in a little later video. But the idea here is the capabilities are here, okay? Uh, of course, you can control, take a picture, and here's their stop and pause buttons and stuff like that. So then uh, let's talk about some of the configurations. I have it set to my YouTube. This is a one terabyte drive, hard drive. Don't, I don't leave it on my SD, my uh, uh, other drive, because I don't want it on my operating system, first of all, and I don't want it on my SSD drive as well. Uh, so you can change that by clicking over here on the buttons and you'll see your list of drives and stuff like that. Uh, you can open that directory and see what's in the directory by clicking here. Okay. There's some other things about Windows always on top and all that, but I don't really care about that stuff. Let's get on to the video settings. There's several different video formats you can use. Now, there's a list of them right here, but to get learn about them, you just click on help, you go out to the Bandicam site, very nice uh, accessory site here, you can read about video size, you know, video frames per second, but here's the whole thing about codecs and everything. And after some consideration, some testing and everything, uh, I think we've decided on using the MPEG-1 video codec, okay. You can use, and read about the stuff about file sizes and stuff like that and everything. But the, uh, the, the whole idea here is you don't want to have something that uh, uh, pixelates when you compress and stuff like that. You want to get a really good capture. So uh, we, we selected that. We left it at 30 frames per second. Again, here it is full size again there. Okay, there's your audio settings and everything like that. And there's the codec. I left it on that. However, to change your audio uh, input source, you actually have to go to the other side here where it says record, okay? Uh, first set one in this section is I changed F12 to F10 because some games uh, use F12 as a screen capture. If you're using this for Windows, I'm the, I've unchecked the hide mouse cursor, so because the Windows programs, you want to see your, your cursor pointing, which you'll see. Uh, and we go to the settings, and this is where it normally grabs the Wind 8 sound. However, the secondary sound device is my headphones I'm talking on. Uh, I'd say I want this to say two sound mixing primary and secondary into one audio track. And that's because while I'm speaking, uh, I want to have the sounds of the system and the sounds of the uh, headphones. There is an option here to only record secondary device while pushing space. And you may want to cl click on this so that you press a space bar when you want to talk. But as for narration over maybe... Uh, a game footage, I, for the most part, I'm just using it uh, all the time, so I don't have to remember to push on that. So that's all That's all those settings. Uh, so next we go, go on to image. There's a screen capture for image, you know, uh, and it also has a repeat screen capture, and I'm getting hide mouse curve, and then you can have a shutter sound, and, and here's the quality and all that stuff and everything. Very nice. If you click on the about, it just says what version you have and all that uh, does all that. Oh, by the way, there's your volume control down there, or volume uh, level and everything. There's the size of the recording, the one, what's going on and everything. Uh, they have tips that come up here, how to record World of Warcraft. One was a different one. So different tips come up there about that. So, and you can pause this. You can pause it right in the middle and then start it back up again. Again, you have a pause button over here. So it has some very nice features as far as that goes. So this is the first video how to configure it. And again, uh, if, if you look here, we're using MPEG-1. We found it to be the best, but 
uh, you can play around with that and everything. Again, you can change the settings right here and read about all the codecs by going to their, their website here. Uh, so that's a first look at uh, Bandicam. Uh, and this is a, we're going to use it next to record a Windows 8 program. Mm -hmm.